Hi everybody. Today we are going to take a look at a database called PubMed Central. We can start right here on the library homepage and then we can scroll down to databases right under the research tab. Now we can click on the P's and go right in to PubMed Central. Let's open up PubMed Central to see what we have. PubMed Central is a free digital repository that archives publicly accessible full text scholarly articles that have been published within the biomedical and life sciences journal literature. So now let's try a search using the advanced search option right here. We just opened up the advanced search tool. Now let's do some keyword searching. We'll put infectious disease in the first field and we'll put public health in the second field. As you can see, PubMed is a huge resource and we get 421,767 full text results with our terms infectious disease and public health. Now let's try a date range limiter. We'll limit the publication date to the last five years to get to the most current information. Limiting our date range also takes down our results total quite a bit, as we are now at 179,551 full text results. Now, let's take a look at one of our search results. We'll scroll down and open up the third article on our list. which is called Comparing National Infectious Disease Surveillance Systems, China and the Netherlands. So we'll click on the title and open up the article. From here, the article is basically yours to read, download, or print out if you would like. We can take a look at the abstract, which is usually a brief summary of the article right here. And if we like what we see, we can go further and explore the entire article. Now, I would also like to show you some very useful links right over here at the top of the screen. You can download the article from the PDF link right here. And the next link I would like to show you is the citation field right here. If we click on this, we will notice formatted citations in all the major styles, such as MLA, APA, and NLM. And you can use these to copy and paste into a Word document. Just remember to check these citations against one of the style guides. They usually are 75 or 80 percent correct, but often contain errors such as capitalization or italics. The fields are usually accurate, but there often are some smaller errors. Make sure to check them. You don't want to lose points at the end of your research paper after all of your hard work. So that was our quick tutorial of the PubMed Central Database. As always, please feel free to contact the library with any questions. We are here for you and want to help. Thank you and have a nice day.